All right, what you're looking at is a bear in the tree. We had been walking by and heard some rustling up in the top of a tree. And when we looked up, there about 40 or 50 feet up was a bear. And he was out on the ends of the limbs and uh, picking off the leaves and stuff. Well, he was coming down the tree and in about the last 20 feet he saw us and slid down the rest of the tree and went scampering off up the hill and over the hill and into the woods. Well, we took off and we came back about an hour and a half later and we were walking by that area just there and we heard rustling in the brush again but this time it was on the ground. This is not a good sign. So next thing we know we were walking apart. I was about uh, 20 feet in front of my wife and uh, this bear walks out of the woods out of the brush and walks right in between us and just kind of saunters there and looks at us and uh, first thing you're thinking is uh oh we're gonna die because if you see a bear you're gonna die if bears you usually run away but if there's a bear you see a black bear it's because it's hunting you and uh, prepare for death. <laughs> anyway, the uh, bear just sat there and then he uh, wandered off into the woods and just carried along beside us for a while and then just took off. And so that was kind of a, an exciting trip. I always see animals whenever I go out with somebody because, I don't know, it's, it's um, people like to see animals and uh, if you're with me, you see animals. But anyway, that was one exciting day. Before I moved up here, I came up here about a month earlier and uh, built a little camp and we stayed in that for about a month and a half. And um, then I went back down to Connecticut and came back up with a family and then we moved to this other spot, which I'm about to show you. But this was fun. I was on a motorcycle and I just pulled into the woods and uh, hiked off into the forest and found a stream and then there was this open spot and so that's where we built the camp so that's that that was like 31 years ago or something like that anyway there it is all right then we moved up here uh, we spent a brief time in this uh, little apartment in this little town and then uh, we moved up here to the top of the world where there was nothing and uh, it was above the uh, frost freeze line. Um, it was a uh, pop-up trailer for World War II and uh, I built onto it as the back part I built onto it and I actually uh, uh, repaired the front um, place you go in, the front door, and fixed that up too. But Anyway, we lived there for a couple of years and at the top of the world and uh, never saw anybody. Um, occasionally somebody would go by and that would be it. But there was nothing. It was just all forest and mountains and um, that was awesome. But it was a little rough living. We didn't have a refrigerator or anything like that. We did have electricity and definitely had heat. The walls were like two inches thick and flat roof but um and it only had two rooms in it actually one on either side um most of that house is actually a lean to for a a um a carport the owner of the place had uh, built that onto it and apparently the um the owner um had come over here from bosnia or something and um they worked at a quarry and they uh, lived in this all their life until they built a house further um, up the mountain. So anyway, that's where we lived. And if that wasn't a small enough place to live in, what I did was I took um, wood and I carried it out on my back or dragged it about half a mile, three quarters of a mile out into the forest up in the mountains and um, built my little shack. It was eight by four by four in size. And I had a little tin can in there, which I used as a fireplace. And I built a, um, a chimney 
and I could burn wood in there and stay warm. And I had a cot in there, and I had music, and you could um, had a doorway, and you could climb in and out and stuff like that. And you could stay out there as long as you want. And it was awesome. And uh, played games out there, swinging from trees and stuff like that. And uh, uh, let's see. Oh, I woke up one day, and I heard all this noise outside the, the cabin, and I. I was kind of scared to look out because it was such a racket. And I looked out and knowing it was Blue Jays, but I opened the door and there were hundreds and hundreds of Blue Jays all on the ground. It was snow on the ground. And they were just all around my little fort, which was really cool. And uh, I'd see all sorts of things like that. But that was one of the things I like to do, hide out in the forest and just sit in my... Uh, little shack type thing. One thing I really liked to do was, and you would think this is kind of silly, but we lived way up in the mountains and stuff like that. So at the top of the mountains, I would climb trees that, um, and see how high I could get up in them and sit there for the day, well, for hours, and just sway in the breeze and enjoy the uh, sun, sun and the, the, the vistas and all that. Seems kind of weird, but it was fun and really dangerous, but that was life.